So this time we will learn about dictionaries in Python. To define a dictionary, we have to use the curly brackets and inside that we have to write the items in a specific manner. So over here I have written the key of this item called product and I will use colon after that I will write the value of this key. So my product which is the key has the value face mask. Similarly, I can have multiple key value pairs inside my dictionary. So let's see what is the type of this my dict variable. So if I print this, you can see that the dictionary has been represented properly, but uh, the type is class of dict. So in Python dictionary is called dict. So to access a dictionary item, we can use the key. So to get the value of the item, we can use my dict. Then inside the uh, square brackets, we can write the key and the corresponding value will be returned. So in this case, the face mask should be returned. So let's see the output. Yeah, so the face mask has been returned. So this is key and value paired data type. Everything in dict will have a key and corresponding value. Now if you compare this to list, the list also has keys but those keys are actually indices. We don't have to define them so those keys are automatically generated. In dict we have to actually manually give the keys. So this cannot be called using uh, like my dict then inside square bracket we cannot give any indices value so that will give us error so in a dictionary keys cannot be duplicate so only unique keys uh, can exist over here if i do that quantity i am defining as two times so what python interpreter will do it will replace the previous entries of the same key and it will only keep the latest entry. So let's try to print this. You can see that only the latest entry of quantity has been saved in the variable. Now we can also create a dictionary with the dict constructor. So inside dict constructor we can pass n number of uh, items. So every item will have a key which will be then assigned to a value. So name I have assigned as python, kind I have assigned as snake and so on. Yeah, so inside dictionaries multiple uh, types of data type can be together. So if I print this, you can see that it has created a dictionary. But you have to see though, we did not include the quotation marks for name. So what this dict keyword does actually it converts the keys as it is to a string and those keys are actually strings which we can use to access the values later. So I am creating a new dictionary over here and as you can see inside dictionary I can also have other iterables like list for example. Or even we can have dictionary inside dictionary. So this is called nested dictionary. So I have a dictionary inside a dictionary which also contains another iterable, a tuple to be specific. So this is perfectly fine in Python. So if I print the type of new dict, yeah, it is a dictionary type. Now let's try to print the type of count. So count keyword inside the square brackets, uh, this key should return the value 32, which should be int. So let's see. Yeah, so this is int. Now colors is a list. So this should return list as expected. Now import info, import info is a dictionary itself. So it should again return dict. Yes, as expected. Now to access a value inside the nested dict, we can do the following. So after accessing the nested dict itself, 
using the key we can actually go further inside it and get the value inside the nested date so my data of import is actually this tuple right now let's try to print and as you can see that it has returned the data of import so first with the first square bracket we went inside import info so and using the second square bracket we inside date where we got the value this tuple and we are returning this tuple now to get all the list of keys actually i will not say this is a list but to get all the keys of a dict i can do this new dict dot keys method and for values i can do new dict dot values method now if i print them print the type of the returns we can see that this is not list this is of class dict keys and dict values also this actually can be converted to list using list type cast now we can reassign any value uh, of a specific key so we just have to access the key and assign a new value to it so if we print before and after changing the value of the count we can see that before count was 32 but now count has become 400 as we have specified with update also we can uh, change the value so but update takes a dictionary itself so inside a dictionary we can change a key value pair we have to give it as a dictionary but if the key already exists then update will update the new value to that key so if i print you can see that count already exists inside new dict so the new value of count has been updated so it is now 999 now to remove the last item we can do pop items so pop item will actually return the item itself so if we print the item and the dict we can see that the last item in my dict was this dictionary itself import info so import info has been uh, popped from the dictionary and you can see that the dictionary itself does not contain uh, import info anymore now we can pop a specific uh, uh, item from the dictionary using the key so if you do pop then count and we print the item and the dictionary itself we can see that the count the the value associated with count which was 999 has been popped and the key and the value both are actually gone from the dictionary so both have been removed now we cannot directly copy a dict using the assignment sign similar to list if we do this both of them will share the same id so any changes made to any one of them will be reflected to the others so if we do print this you can see that uh, id of copy of new dict is ac actually equal to id of id of new dict now to actually deep perform deep copy we can use dot copy this will give uh, this will make a new dictionary with a different id but uh, both of them will have the same data so let's see the id as you can see those ids are not same anymore so if we change anything to any on one of them uh, the other one will not be changed now another way to uh, do this deep copy is using the dict constructor so dict constructor can take a dictionary itself and it will create a new dictionary and uh, with that same data and assign it to copy of new dict variable if you do check the ids are equal or not again we can see that the ids are not equal and lastly uh, we'll just clear the dict so this is this does as it says it will just clear the dict and it will return as a empty dict so that's it for today uh, next time we will start with loops and after that i want to start uh, solving some problems so you guys can have a better understanding of the python language itself by solving those problems thank you